Steve Dotto here. Glad you could join us today. Today's topic, overcoming email overload, that bloating, bloating, unwieldy inbox that so many of us have. It's a lifelong pursuit for many of us to get control of our inbox. And people rave about one particular product. It's called SaneBox. It's a tool that plugs into Gmail, Outlook, all of your different email software. It comes in and it theoretically takes control of your inbox and creates a sane inbox for you instead of the insane one that we currently live with. Now, I am just in the process of installing SaneBox. I'm actually just working through it right now. I've already started. I've entered my Gmail address. I'm attaching it to my Gmail. And oh, I have to show you this. It's a treat. Such a bullet I took for you folks. I, I think you should all send me an email and thank me because for the last two weeks, I haven't been cleaning out my inbox. It's It's been difficult for me because I, I don't like this kind of this chaos that my inbox has become. But so many of you have this particular experience. Look at my number here. I have 1,757 email messages in my inbox. That's what I get in a couple of weeks. So I've got, obviously, in my normal life, ways of dealing with all of this email. And so normally I have less than 50. I like to have white space at the bottom of the fold of my email software because then I know that I'm that there's nothing hidden. There's nothing that I'm going to be surprised at. So I am anxious as can be right now because I've got 1,700 messages. I know there is important stuff in there that I haven't found, that I haven't dealt with. I have to get control of it. So we're going to go through that process. And a lot of you, if you're starting getting control of your inbox will have a situation almost exactly like this. So this ought to be a great demo. It better be. I'm suffering for it. So I've just started installing SaneBox. No, it's just asking for permission to see, view, and manage my email, look at my contacts. Because what SaneBox does is it actually goes through and filters your last, I think it's 5,000 messages. And it starts to organize them into important messages and the ones that are not quite as important. How does it determine what's important and what's not? SaneBox looks at both your inbox and your outbox. It looks at who you're in active dialogue with and talking to. It figures if you've replied to an email, uh, then it's probably somebody who you who is important. Thanks for signing oh, up with SaneBox. Thank you. Let me tell just, you what's just, about. Just wait a second. They're going to explain what I'm going to explain to you right now. So. Uh, when you sign up, you can watch this video. While I'm waiting for it to happen, I'll watch it in case, and I'll encapsulate it in case I missed anything. But to rewind to what I was saying, it goes through, looks, and sees who you've replied to, and then it moves them into a critical email box, into a most important email, and it puts everything into something to deal with later. And then it allows you to create more structure than that by creating multiple inboxes for different types of information, very similar to what we've seen recently in Gmail tabs, I think. We'll, uh, we'll know a little bit more in a few moments. But basically what it's going to do is it's going to boil all the noise out and just give you the important email messages that you need to deal with in your inbox and let all of the other stuff be hidden in the background until you go look for it and audit it. Now you do have to go in and check out other email to make sure that there's nothing important being put in other boxes. But, uh, but it basically does that good top level filtering for you. And I think, well, certainly from all the response that I've read online and heard from my friends, this is a tool that really works well. Now, What's going to happen here, actually what it's doing now, is it's going through and it's looking at all those, that 1,700 messages that are in my inbox, it's categorizing them for me right now. So this might take a few moments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break, maybe walk the dog. When I come back, we'll take a look and see how SaneBox looks when I see it right within my Gmail software. So stick around. I have just watched their little one minute and 30 second video, so I have a better understanding for SaneBox. Actually, they do a nice job on that video. Watch it as you sign up. And I'm going to click on the next button to see it, uh, see if they've done anything yet. Uh, SaneBox uses my social networks to improve accuracy. Will never contact my friends. That's good. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Show me my settings. Oh, so it's asking if it can use those to look at who my contacts are in those areas because obviously, again, email from those people is probably more important, something I want in my primary inbox. So I think I'm going to give it... Ah, it says, congratulations, it's almost done. Actually, it's analyzing, oh, it's analyzing lots of my emails. It's, it's, uh, I've got about 23,000. I guess it's looking in my email archive as well as just my active inbox right now and, uh, and uh, analyzing them all. So it's about 40% complete. It says almost done. It's not almost done. It's 40% done. 40% is not almost. 
while SaneBox plugs away at uh, analyzing all of my email, it's doing a faster job than I originally did as I read each of those emails, I can tell you that. I'm taking a look at this landing page within SaneBox, and they've done a really nice job here. The f what they've got here is they've got the ability for me to connect to my social networks, uh, identifying them here. Um, train contacts. I believe what's going to happen with train contacts is as I tell SaneBox, is I tell them that uh, something that it thought wasn't, wasn't important is important or that this person that they thought was important is not important, it will then train it so that it, it deals with email coming from those people in, in that way. What it's really doing is creating automatic filters for us through, uh, through, trial, uh, through um, show me. Like I'm going to say this email from Bob is important. So put it in, keep it in my inbox so it knows now that Bob's an important person rather than me having to go into the, the filter function, say, within Gmail or within Outlook and create actual email filters around all of this. Now, they've got a series of uh, folders that you can enable here. So again, this is where it gets really similar to the tabbed email within Gmail. So it's got the inbox. Sane later is all the emails that are going to, that it doesn't consider to be really important. So only important emails are going to end up in my inbox. And then Sane later ones, it's are ones that I'm going to go through and look at. And they told me in the video that they will actually send me an email once a day with a digest of all of the emails that it didn't consider important and that I can actually manage those emails right from within that digest, which seems to me to be pretty convenient. I think if you're using SaneBox, you're going to have to come up with a slightly different routine for managing your email. And instead of now having email overload from having all these inboxes, all these messages in your inbox, you have to make sure that on a daily or maybe every other day basis, you clean out your Sane Later folder to make sure that, that you aren't missing anything and that the software is being properly trained. And over time, that will probably require less and less of your time as the training takes hold. Oh, on this one, this is the one I was looking forward to. I read about Sane Black Hole. If you enable that one, you've got the ability for any newsletter that you wish to no longer subscribe to, to instead of going through the unsubscribe process in the bottom of the newsletter, just grab that newsletter, the email from that that, that newsletter is contained in, drag it into your sane black hole, and it is gone. You will never receive that email again. It says it is done. So let's see what we have here. We've got a... Uh, I guess we just go to our Gmail account now, do we? Let's try it. Let's go to our Gmail account and let's refresh it. There was 1,362 email messages in my inbox right now. I'm going to refresh the screen. Now, to be fair, when you look at my email screen here, you have to understand I use this to demonstrate and to try out all of the different software that I use. So consequently, it is... Um, it, it, I've got a few more, I've got lots more folders and I've got lots more little icons all around. So I'll try and, I'll try and work my way through all those so you understand uh, what's SaneBox and what's not. But <laughs> it's also part of it, just, it's also part for me just figuring out it as well. At any rate, here we are with through, SaneBox has gone through and I have somewhere in here, I have, oh, there it is, I have, where is it? I have a new folder called Sane Later. There's 1177 messages in my Sane Later folder. And here in my inbox, I'm down to 203 unread messages, total of 355 email messages. So it's not unbelievably great, but I went from 1700 down to 300 email messages that I can work my way through. So it's got all of those. Now I'm looking in here right away and I can see that there's a whole bunch of like social networking um, uh, icons here uh, that, that I just don't care about. So I'm thinking what I can do here is I can enable some of these, some of these other uh, tools here to uh, to deal with those email messages as I start to work my way through. Because I have found one other thing here. Uh, I was able to add, by clicking here, I added a custom training folder. So I actually added a folder called social media. That's where I want to put all those LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter messages that I receive in my inbox. I'm going to put them all in social media so they're all in one place. I like that idea, so I'm putting that together. But then I, I didn't scroll down to the very bottom of the screen earlier because I didn't notice this, saying attachments, an interesting idea. Where do you want me to store my attachments rather than just leaving them in the in, in the um, uh, just on your desktop or something. So I can set this up for it to put all of my attachments into Dropbox and I imagine I'm going to be able to create a custom, yeah, I'll be able to create a custom Dropbox folder for all my attachments, which is similar to having a downloads folder on your computer. You now have an attachments folder that you can store in Dropbox, which I think is a pretty slick idea as well. Good on you, SaneBox. Good. And looky, looky, we have all of our at Sane boxes now available to us. So this is cool. And now I'll, I now have SaneBox available to me. So I can now go into my inbox and I can start 
training sane. Oh, I see that the one that I just created myself isn't there yet. I don't have the sane social media one available to me yet. But I've got sane black hole, sane bulk, sane later, sane news. And if I take a look at what's in the news one, what's in the news one, it's probably all newsletters and that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's all different newsletters that I that I that I deal with. Oh, but here I see an email from somebody who does send me newsletters, but I actually do business with her as well and talk to her in other areas. So PJ, and her email is in my uh is in my newsletter. I don't. I want that to be in my inbox. It's she's a conversation that I really want to have on a regular basis. I want to see any email coming from PJ. So I'm moving that into my inbox now. I release it there, and now the message has moved to my inbox. And I believe that same box has now been trained that any email coming from PJ should be kept in my inbox. Pretty useful. I think that's a good idea. So as we go through now, and over time, as we as we move our email in and out of the different boxes here, we will train it so that we soon have only super important email in our inbox and everything else is in one of these other uh, one of these other boxes as well. And I really do want to try the same black hole. I got to find a newsletter that I'm not interested in. Ah, uh, let's go to the newsletter. So who do I get a newsletter from? You know, as much as I like Le Creuset, uh, I, 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 I just like cooking with it. I've got like one pot. That's all I can afford from Le Creuset. I don't know why I'm subscribed to their newsletter. It's going to go in the black hole. Oh, poor Le Creuset into the black hole. I've moved it. And now I should not get no more emails. I should not get no more emails. From Le Creuset. Oh, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I've just offended them. There goes my chance of ever getting sent a free Le Creuset pot. But there it is. And I can see that it's in there as well. So if you ever do need to reverse it, if there's a newsletter that you've put in the black hole that you'd...